Hi, this is Lady Lex UK, and this is a Dreams Gadget tutorial. Uh, we're doing gameplay gear, and we've got to score and score modifier. Now, these two gadgets are paired gadgets. They won't work without each other, so I'm going to do them uh, in the same tutorial. Um, they have changed since early access. There is some modifications to these. Um, so some of the tutorials that you might see on scores might not make much sense um, because um, the, the gadgets look slightly different, but uh, let's go through it and see how it works. Okay, so we have a score and a score modifier. Let's open up the tweak menu of that and the tweak menu of that. And um, they look very similar to the variable and variable modifier gadgets. In fact, the variable modifier and score modifier are identical. The only difference is the color. Um, but don't get them confused. Uh, you can't use one to to another. Um, this modifies the score. The other one modifies the variable. This is a specialized variable, if you like. Um, and this is the uh, only thing that is going to feed the scoreboard. Now, scoreboards are available only in the frame of a dream. So you can put these in. You put these in your scene, but there is no scoreboard until you put the scene inside a dream. Um, the dream itself has all the uh, the back end systems in order to cope with the scoreboard, while a scene in its in itself does not. So um, you will only see a scoreboard if your scene with the score in is inside a dream. Right, let's have a look and see what we've got. So first of all, um, this is our score. Um, the name that you pick for your score uh, here uh, will be reflected in the name of your scoreboard. So if you might want to change this to say, highest score or something like that. There we go. Um, and of course the score modifier use the d-pad to pick the right score name so you are um, modifying the right scoreboard and you can have multiple scoreboards and multiple score modifiers in your game that do different things that put, post different scores so for example you might have a game where you needed to uh, collect things and there's a timer and you might have one scoreboard which is the fastest time and another scoreboard which is the most collected objects that sort of thing. So um, you can have multiple scores with the multiple boards in your level. Right, one thing uh, to notice though that the difference between this and the variable is that there is no persist in dream with the score. So um, if you have this score in this scene and then you level link and you have another scoreboard in the next scene, the score gadget, they're not talking to each other. Um, the score is not passed on. So uh, in that instance, if you have a level linked game, you would need to use a persistent variable and use that to post to scores. I'll talk about that in a minute. Right, let's go through the tweak menu. Right, initial score. Um, most of the time, um, for most occasions, the default of zero is probably what you want. But if you want to start off the score not at zero, you can use the slider, just grab it with the X and move about. Or you can go in with L1 and square and you get this nice little calculator thing and you can put in your number that way. And if you want to set it back to the default of zero, press the triangle button and back it goes. This next one is our current score. This is the output socket that you would wire to, uh, let's say a number displayer. Let's put one in. So there's our number displayer. I'm just gonna move that top right over there. Put it under that, there we go. So there's our score over there. And the current score will be de demonstrated here on the face of the gadget as well. Um, there isn't anything inside this open um, uh, score here. There's nothing. There's no number in here that shows you what the current score is. It's on the face of the gadget. Right, this next one is a toggle. Um, this is for multiplayer. Uh, it's default to be off. So you only have one score for, for everybody. Um, 
When you turn it on, if you have multiplayer, then each player gets a copy of this score. Now, what I'm not sure about, and because I can't experiment, because it's only me up here with uh, with one controller, so I can't experiment with this. Um, I don't know what that means for the score for each player, whether the, the scores can be different or, or what, to be honest with you. Um, and I can't experiment with it, so I'm afraid that's a little bit of a mystery for me. Uh, if you know um, how multiplayer this this particular score thing works, um, then uh, please uh, feel free to explain in the comments. Right. Um, down here we have two output sockets, uh, score increased and score decreased. Uh, this wire uh, sends out a, a one or a zero pulse. Every time the score increases, that's going to send out a one pulse. So you know whether or not the score is going up and you can use that to uh, affect things in your world. And this does the same if the score is going down. This is the post score. This is the important bit of the score gadget. Um, now, as you're adding things to your score, none of that is going to the scoreboard. It only goes to the scoreboard once you've sent a pulse through this input socket here to say post the score. So that could be a button press, that could be um, a doorway, that could be all sorts of things. Anything that, that's going to post that score, um, you get to the end and then post the score. So um, be aware that nothing is going to that scoreboard throughout the game. It's not happening unless there is a signal being sent to this particular input socket. On the second page, uh, we're going into um, what the scoreboards are actually going to look like. So uh, we've got a number or time. So it's, a, a, it's still a number, but it's in a time format. Or And it says the better score is higher or lower. So your better score might be um, the like in basketball, the most baskets, or it might be um, lower in that it's a timed thing and the lower the time, the better the player has, has uh, achieved. Then we've got multiplayer boards. This is uh, defaulted to combined so that every player is going to appear on the same scoreboard. I think what this does, and again, I can't experiment, is if you change it to separate, then player one has a board, player two has a board, player three has a board, and player four has a board. So their scores are separated in into their player numbers, I think. Um, like I say, I can't I experiment, so um, if you leave a comment, um, if you know. Right, okay, so that's the the, the tweak menu there. Now, the score modifier, this is how you actually change the current score. And it's exactly the same as the variable modifier. So if you're familiar with that gadget, then this won't, um, won't be a surprise for you. Okay, so uh, the default is to set and when powered on, and then you've got your operational value here. Uh, there's inputs and output sockets for this, uh, but most of the time um, you may not uh, need to send wires in and out of this. Um, I'm going to create some artificial scores so that you can see it working. So here's a controller sensor. I'm going to make that remote. And I'm going to wire up the cross button to the power on our modifier. Now, we're going to modify a higher score, which is this score over here. And at the moment, um, it's going to do nothing because it's set to zero. So we're going to change that. I'm going to make that 10. So when this is powered on, it's going to set our highest score to 10. So I've got it on, I've got play it on, and I'm going to press X and it's set it to 10. Now I press X again, it's still 10. It's not adding anymore because it's just setting it as 10. Now, if I change it to add, now when I press X, it's adding 10. 
So you see the scores going up like this, and you can see there's our number displayer from the current score showing exactly the same number. If you want to take it away, then you're still got an add button, but you just do a minus number. So now every time I press X, it's going to take away 10. Um, reset. Um, this, as soon as I press X, will just reset back to zero. Uh, it resets it to the initial score. That's what reset will do. Uh, so once I've done it, it's done. So now I'm going to minus 10, minus 10, minus 10, minus 10. Change that to reset. Boom. It's reset it. Um, so you might have two score modifiers. One that resets it and one that adds. So we're going to add. We're going to add 10 to our score every time. And then I'm going to have another score modifier. Picked up to reset. Uh, linked up to the circle button. Whoops. Right, so I'm going to add, 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 and then I press the circle button and it reset. Okay, so that's how you would use the, the reset button. Um, it's just a matter of sending a pulse. Now, the continuously when powered. Um, means that um, as, soon, as long as I'm holding down the X button, it's adding 10 all the time. So you can see that it's going up at a rate of knots. So don't get the two confused. One will only power on with a pulse. So it powers with a pulse. This one is a sustain. So it's a sustained press. We'll keep adding 10 every frame. Well, if you set it to power, it only does it as soon as I press it. So that's the difference between those two. And that's basically it. There's nothing much more to that. Um, like I say, you need to have your um, score in a dream. And you need somehow to be able to post that score um, to the dream. Now, I have done tutorials on... Um, the scoreboards before um and like i say they have changed this a little bit but i think um fundamentally putting it into your dream and everything is hasn't really changed except we've got this here instead of um in the dream so um right okay so now um we need to um find out a way of posting our score so i'm gonna wire the triangle up to post score so i'm going to reset that um and now we need to put this scene inside dream so we're going to save this scene as a scene don't save it as an element scene game i'm going to call it score test There we go, and I've saved that. Now we go into my creations. Sorry, I've got tons of creations. Um, there we go. So, score test. As you can see, there's no scoreboard. Um, let's create a dream. And put in our score test. Like so. And we'll save that. Call this score test as well. There we go. So now we've got a dream. And again, there's no scoreboard here. That is because I haven't set a score yet. So I'm going to add my score. And then press triangle, that's posted my score. I'm coming out. And there's still nothing. 
because the game isn't up. It also needs to be up. So I'm going to launch this to private. Um, add a category, game, there we go, done, done, that's also private, that's fine, right, now then, let's play, there's my score, post my score, it's come out, and now we've got a scoreboard. And there's my score, and that's the time I did it. Uh, it's quarter past ten in the morning right now, so that's the, the time there. Um, as it gets into tomorrow, that will put today's date in instead. But it's, if it's done on the day, then it shows the, the, the time of day. And it's local time, local time to your PlayStation. Right, so that's basically it. Um, it has to be... On a server it has to be in a dream and you have to post up an initial score before you get a scoreboard now here's our scoreboard we can edit our scoreboard now uh, so we've got numbers higher and separate multiplayer boards uh, which I can't remember whether that's how I set it let's let's go back into uh, edit um, of the score. Let's have a look at our score. Is that how I set it? It isn't, is it? Um, okay. Is it set, set as combined? Combined? Combined was what I set it as. And I didn't combined is what I set it at and separate is what it gives you that's a bug I don't think that's right at all that should not happen um, that's really interesting so I've set up my score test okay so let's just have a look at the score settings here I'm gonna set this time lower and combined and I'm going to save that, launch that to private I'm going to go into here, go to edit, I'm going to update that I'm going to save that to private that's all updated reset progress okay we're going to go into scoreboards and I'm going to reset our scoreboard and we're just gonna go and press play I'm going to increase my score to 100 why is that showing not at what well, that's showing as a number okay never mind press triangle i've posted my score now go to the scoreboard this should be showing as a time it's not um let's go into this number higher separate it should be time lower combined so obviously setting those settings in the uh the score as absolutely no connection whatsoever to the actual scoreboards at all which really surprised me so what's the point in having those settings in there if um, if it doesn't actually affect the scoreboard and you still got to go in here and do it anyway so if you wanted it as time lower and combined you got to change it there so then we got to do it again Let's reset, press play, square, 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 100, post, the 
Let's have a look at our score now. There we go. 140. That's what 100 is. Um, and there we go. Um, interesting. Um, it's not what I expected. So um, even though you've got all of those lovely settings there, for all of these, um, they actually don't do anything to the school board whatsoever and you've still got to go in the school board and make sure those settings are correct. Um, a, that's a big surprise for me. Um, I was expecting that this would actually affect the school board, but it doesn't. It has no effect whatsoever. In fact, this entire page is completely useless. Um, it might set it in your game so that you can see it, but um, that's all it's doing. It's not actually affecting the school board at all. Which uh, is a disappointment. I'm, I'm probably a bug. That doesn't seem right to me at all. What would be the point of that? Well, there you go. There is the, uh, the school board gadgets. I uh, hope that was useful. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in your dreams.